this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller back with another service management leadership video. Today is part three in our video series discussing a, a Gardner article written by a woman named Susan Moore. She references a man named Paul Proctor in this article. So if you hear us referring to those names, that's where they come from. And this article is written in September of 2019. So whenever you re hear this video, watch this video, just keep that in context. And I apologize if you see me looking down. I'm trying to make sure I get the facts right from this article. I thought they were great. And so let's jump right in. And so in this article, it says to, digital, to create a digital KPI, key performance indicator, we need to ask these five questions. What is being measured? And you may have, for example, the percentage of customer interactions that are digital versus in person. That seems like a good question. Second is really familiar to you, I told people, especially those from the CSI world, where are we today? And you have to think, the next one is, where do we want to go? This article talks about where's our target goal, but think of where we are today and where do we want to go? Number four is, what is our desired benefit, business outcome, business benefit? Do we want 50% improvement in X, reduction in cost from Y? What is it? And where's our balance point? I really enjoyed reading about this balance point thought process in this article. The balance point it describes when we shouldn't over digitalize. So those of you that come from an economics background or are familiar, enjoy it. I enjoy economics. It talks about the law of diminishing returns. So as your laws of diminishing returns, you know, it goes down, down, down. And the law of diminishing returns shows up everywhere in service management. In terms of how much should we invest in our software asset management, get a lot of bang for our buck, and the more dollars we put at it, there's a diminishing returns. The same is on this digital transformation, how to measure its progress. There's a diminishing returns balance point, think of a teeter-totter, where we go, hey, this is over-digitalized. We're not getting the returns we want, so let's stop right here. Have that thought process in mind before you even embark on your digital transformation journey. Great thought, right? Hopefully you've enjoyed these three videos on this Gartner article. I've really enjoyed uh, reading and thinking about them and say, thinking to myself, how can I uh, use this to help my audience just think through their problems of the day? So hopefully those of you that are undergoing or about to embark on a digital transformation journey, this short three uh, part series has been helpful to you. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Please like or share this video, help us get the word out. And also, if you would help us uh, by posting it on your LinkedIn, as I put it out on mine, connect with me on LinkedIn. Also, feel free to uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We would love to have you. Thank you once again. I hope you have a great, great day.